Okay, yeah. I haven't eaten yet, so I'm hungry. I found an old camera that actually did have a viewfinder, so if you see me randomly looking up like that, it's because I'm not looking in the camera, sorry. Anyhow, um, oh wait, we need to set. Because this face is not going to be wasted, okay. So what's good? How are you, YouTube? Boy, it's been a hell of a week. Listen, I have been up, down, left, right, through the ringer and back, but still I rise. I rise. I rise. Um, yeah. So, it's your girl, D, back with another haul video. As if I don't buy enough makeup as it is anyways. <laughs> and I, every time I swear I'm not going to buy anymore, and then Sephora just wants to go ahead and be like, hey, 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 hey. You know you a VIB rouge. You know you want to come on ahead and ball out and get 15% off your entire purchase. And I'm like, shut up and take my money. Just, all right. So, with the VIB Rouge sale last week, got a couple of things. And then also, um, for the Beauty with D series, I picked up a couple new masks. Going to talk about those. Going to talk about a pair of mink lashes from a very good friend of mine. And so without further ado, while I still have space on this memory card, let's get it going. First and foremost, here is my lovely parting gift. If you actually bought, brought, brought a friend in for the sale, which I did. You see her in the other um, video. Her name is Sierra. She is big. Um, you will, um, you, if you both got this little tote, as long as one of you was a rouge, cool, cool. Alrighty, so here we go. <clears throat> so one of the things that I, it, this is a compilation of like the past two weeks. So, um, this is stuff that I got at Sephora, stuff that I ordered from Amazon, stuff that I picked up inside of CVS and stuff that I ordered from Sephora because there were a couple things that Sephora online had that is full for stuff. Sha, 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 sha. A couple of things that Sephora online did have that the store did not have. Cool, cool. All right, so one of those would be some more melted mattes. I just put this lipstick on, so we're not about to ruin it, okay? All right. Oh, and this look is in a tutorial too. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So we have this one here. This, I believe, is Unicorn. Where's the name? So I can show you. All right. Unicorn. And where's the other one? Going up. On a Tuesday. Girl in the club and she's Tuesday. All right, here we go. And here's the other melted mat that I picked up. I got these both at the VIB sale. That is Drop Dead Red. Anyone ever watch Drop Dead Fred when they were a kid? I don't know. All right, swatches. <laughs> Yo, daddy likes it. So we have Drop Dead Red. Yeah. And then we have. Unicorn. Now, unicorn is one of these colors you're going to have to wear when you go to the club. Like, this ain't, this ain't an everyday color, in my honest opinion. I wouldn't rock this every single day. Maybe if I was a little bit more fair-skinned and not as chocolatey. Yeah! So, drop dead red. Unicorn. What y'all think? I don't know. I like them. And I think that they would go good with, um... A lot of the eyeshadows that I have, especially because Too Faced colors complement one another as well as them. Did I put a bring back in the wrong package? I did. Too Faced colors complement one another very well. And I've been pimping the hail out of the Sweet Peach palette. And this eyeshadow look. See that? Yeah. Mm. So I've been pimping the hell out of this palette designing different looks that I could possibly film and, and you know rocking them one day seeing how I like it and I liked this one so that I repeated it so um 
those two melted mattes, bomb as hell. I picked up another Anastasia liquid lipstick. This one I believe also is, um, I believe it's a potion. It is, it is named potion, but I think I got the lip gloss in potion, which was kind of more of a deep burgundy, but this liquid lipstick as potion, it's so nasty. I'm a creep. Anyway, so, but this is a nice, deep, deep color. Almost a little bit of the, I think, Echo by Kat Von D. One of those uh, deep blues, but this has got some mauve in it. Anyhow, so, um, there's that. And you see how it is? It's kind of hard to describe because in not bright lighting it does look a kind of a blurple like a nice good blueberry purple but i don't know i like it i like it a lot you know i love my dark deep angry emo vampy colors come for me if you want to speaking of vampy this next item is not i actually ordered this from mac <clears throat> This is um, one of, because Matt's really good about getting celebrities on board and making up colors to compliment them. So this is Halsey. I don't know who Halsey is. Sorry. But, um, but this lip color is pretty. Packaging is very pretty. And this is one of these colors that if you're bold enough to wear it by itself, you could, or it could be awesome as a base for another color. Like that could easily calm down Unicorn, which looks almost pink, but the package looks purple. Okay, color schemes. All right, we're here for this. So, those are the new lip colors. Like I said, I'm not taking this one off today. I'm sorry. All right, so what else we got? We have, <sighs> this is Bobbi Brown's Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which you can wear as a primer, or you can just wear it alone, or you could wear it on top of liquid makeup. It has Shea Butter, Vitamin C, and E inside. This was pricey. I, I bought, I had a sample made of this before by Bay. Bay's name is Marche, in case y'all didn't know. But I had her make me a sample of this. This is very, I love this, but also this is pricey. This is one of those where, this is more expensive than my Makeup Forever Primer and my Becca Port Mattifying Primer combined. Bobby, Bobby Brown, one of them high class, high price hoes, but. That's okay. Because, you know, you have your average run-of-the-mill hoes. You know, like, okay, I'll make you holler for a dollar. You know, I might do something strange for some change. And then you have your classy hoes, the ones that actually have a professional madam. Those hoes that be on the A game that, like, they could actually claim the money that they make from hoeing on their tax refund. That's the kind of hoe that Bobby Brown is. She's not actually a hoe. I'm just using that as a metaphor and an analogy. Anyway, so, um, yeah. What else? Oh, and this is what I couldn't find in store because they didn't have it yet. We have the Mascara Melt Off from Too Faced. Super fucking excited about this. And then we have the new Better Than Sex Mascara, also from Too Faced. Sephora didn't actually have those in store, so I had to order them from their website. And I have not had a chance to try this out just yet. I actually have been kind of remiss on my makeup this week. But definitely will be doing a review later on also with the 15 percent off sale so you know come on now i had to ball outrageous i did actually get one of the born this way foundations from sephora's website got it swatched it was entirely too light and it was like the third deepest shade that they had and Too Faced just expanded their deeper collection of shades so clearly i'm gonna have to go darker 
all right, that's fine. So I went to exchange it, but I, while I was there, I was like, you know what? I don't want to leave empty handed. I want something. So I got something. We have a naked skin foundation. And this is in the deepest shade, like sun, like chocolate girls, like listen. I got my nails shorter, y'all. I did. Let me sit up so you don't look at my turkey neck. Okay. I got my nails shorter. But still, do you know how hard it is to open things? Where the box go? I had it. There it is. And then you just wind up messing stuff up. Now this, I actually, um, I swatched about four or five of their shades just to see what it is they look like. Right now I'm wearing my NARS, um, I think Sheer Glow. And it's a smidge light. Like you can definitely tell the lines of demarcation. That sounded fancy. You can tell where it begins and where it ends. I'm still fine. Your daddy still like it. But um, this here, like with no lighting, it looks so chocolatey. In lighting, it looks about average. Pump ho. And I swatched it on my hand at first. And I have like this um childhood scar right here you know I was a bad little kid I put my hand in the oven and I didn't need to okay whatever anyway so it was interesting how it blended over my hand but normally I don't swatch on my hand alone and then make a decision off of that so I put it on my face and then I went I turned to another young lady at Sephora I was like so what do you think and she's like about your lip gloss it's okay I was like but uh, I was actually asking about the foundation she's like this foundation on definitely a winner so if the girl of Sephora can't tell that I have the foundation on I'm here for that that's a win all right so that's what I wound up exchanging the born this way for <clears throat> so there's a whole bunch of samples as usual okay what else did we get all right so um elf Illuminating face primer. Currently wearing this if you can see a couple of shimmers, flippers, or gold or whatever. IDK. Love the hell out of this. It goes on like if you can see the there's some right there on the edge. It goes on super bright yellow. Blends out. Makes you look like you are 24 karat on me. But I love that. That's been one of my go-tos since I have been um um since I've last been wearing makeup, have that in my daily bag. I also, pause. I also got a blush palette by Elf Eyes, Lips, Face. Never ever would wear blush regularly. Like nails. I can't open them. I like this. I really do. I'm wearing this shade right here. Well, this shade right here is what I'm wearing right here. Clearly, y'all understand what I'm saying, totally. Okay. Get that out the way. Resume. All right, Ipsy bag for the month of April. It came with, mine came with a brush that I have no idea what to use it for. So I just used it to put on the primer. I also have a Tarte lip cream. Well, that's a pretty bright ass pink. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Okay. What shade is this? I don't know. Then we have Nomad eyeshadow in Desert. Sands. It's still in the plastic. I'm not going to mess with it. 
we have some kind of perfume. Juliet has a gun. It says it's not a perfume. What? Um, check this description. Imagine a design by Romano Ricci, great grandson of Nina Ricci, not a perfume, is a molecular composition and will not resemble anything you've ever tested before. Made out of a single ingredient, it has no top or hard notes. So while testing it, chances are you will experience a certain weakness at first glance, but don't rush too fast into conclusions. It is one of our top sellers and there is a good reason for that. The fragrance simply stands out. It's not a perfume, but it's a perfume. We will re-gift that. And then we have um, an exfoliant treatment mask from Tula. So, you know I'm all about the masks, so we'll definitely incorporate this for Beauty with D later on. Okay, what else we got? Tula. Alrighty, what else did I buy? Oh, another high pricey, high, high expensive hoe item. Mark Jacobs Foundation. Listen, the Genius Gel. I swatched this and fell in love, like with myself. Also expensive. Also purchased with the. Sorry, Ray of Sun peeking in and everything. Also purchased with the 15% off that the VIB sale had. And then, I think this is all that I have from Sephora. Since the bag's getting empty. Yep. Poor Professional Matte Rescue from Benefit Cosmetics. Another face primer. I'm all about the mattifying because you know we grease up like church's chicken over here, son. So, I'm all for anything that can make me non-church's chicken greasy. Thanks. Okay, and then the masks. This one is from Freeman, Feeling Beautiful, Pomegranate Revealing Peel Off Mask. I have to say, I did try this because I was going to see how it is that it worked before doing the Beauty with D video, and I don't like it. it. It wasn't as powerful or as potent as my other masks that I normally wear from um, H&M, but... It, it did make my skin feel softer, but it didn't really pull off a lot of the, the dead skin and the blackheads that I was looking for. It was nice. It was nice. I'm not going I'm still gonna use it. I'm not gonna throw it away. I invested in it. Got this one off of Amazon. This one I haven't tried yet. It's still in the plastic. It's an egg white peel off mask. The thing about getting it off of Amazon though is that there's some kind of foreign language back here. I think that's Russian. Or Hebrew. I don't know. We'll we'll see how that one works. And then this one, which I tried last night, this is a charcoal peel off mask. Now this one was potent. When I say, mmm, mmm. Y'all ever peel a Biore nose strip off of your nose? And you know how you gotta fight back every single tear that all of your slave ancestors have ever cried because that's how bad of the pain it was enforced upon your skin? Whole face though, not just your nose, not just like, I am sorry, Kunta Kente. I am sorry, Emancipation Proclamation. I am sorry, I am so sorry for segregation. I am so, ooh, ah, mm, and then you're done. Now, this, this, the, the, this. Now my skin was glowy, my, it got, it got dead skin and hairs and things that I didn't even know that could come off. It was thorough. But it was painful. I do recommend, but you got to have a strong tolerance for pain. Ooh. And then highlight of a lovely friend of mine, Lashes. Her name is Lena, L-Y-N-A. Lashed by Lena. This is her bombshell mink reusable lashes. 100% mink hair. And whenever I grow up and figure out how to wear lashes on a regular basis, then I'll show you. But I wanted to give her a shout because I absolutely, absolutely love her, her skills, her talent. Her, her skills, her talent, her brand. I've known her for several years and 
you know, to branch out and leave banking and retail and then go into full esthetician cosmetic, go into full, go into estheticians and cosmetics full time. I'm so proud of her. So, um, if you're in the Kansas City area, she is local and I can link her website in the description below. But these babies, honey, 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 Linda, honey, look at this. All right. I think that's all I got for you today. I've got all kinds of videos to edit. About to go have lunch with my uh, lovely friends and catch up on good, good girl talk and whatnot. So you guys, in the meantime, if there's anything else that you want to see on Beauty with D, if there is um, <clears throat> any questions, suggestions, hit me in the comments section. Oh, also, um, Shout out to myself. Jump over to the Poetry and Spoken Word playlist. Check your girl out at Kansas City's Open Mic, One Mic KC. And um, I will be hitting them up here as the summer months. I will be um, hitting up the Open Mic a little bit more since we are almost done with school. One class left, one! Then we get that bachelor's. Sign it. All right. You guys have a beautiful day. Have a wonderful day. You are blessed. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You are amazing. And I love you. I'm not saying that because I want you to hit the like button. You can do that too. But in the meantime, even if you don't, you're dope. <laughs>